What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. What's going on, you guys? Well, guys, we are super excited. Uh, we had a fantastic vacation with the kiddos, uh, but we are back down here and we are ready to get some work done. Oh, yes. Today we are going to be starting on some of our electricity down here. Uh, we have got all of the materials just about, give or take, I hope that we have everything. <laughs> We're going to find out. Uh, but we are ready to get in the work. So what do we got going on first, Gary? First things first, I'm going to mess around with these lights and get them where I think that we should have them and get those daisy chained all together and uh, figure out where we're all going to be having to be. We want to make sure that we're placing it where we want it now because now is the time. Yeah. So I've got a lot of a lot of work and boxes to attach and then we can do the whole fun wrap race of wire. Yay. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, how we are lighting everything right now inside the basement is like this. We've got these shop lights and uh, the extension cord goes here, down, back and around. Got another one right there, another light right there, and then one right there in the hallway. And then the extension cord goes all the way out and around to our meter rack. That's definitely not how we wanna keep it. We need to get going on with our plan. So uh, the type of lighting that we're going to be using inside the whole back area of the basement is gonna be these can lights. They are LED and only LED. So we're never gonna be able to go back to the other way. They do have an extension where um, I could have bought the can light where just a regular bulb went into it. But my thing is, is power. And I don't ever want to go buy a bulb and have it be way too much power for what I want this to be for. This thing's rated for 24 watts and the lights only put out nine. So that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It makes it to where I can daisy chain quite a bit of these together and uh, not even get close to the amperage of what a 15 amp breaker could really handle or a 20 amp breaker could handle. Yeah. Which I'm using all 20 amp because why not? <laughs> if I need it, then it's there. In the end, uh, it's definitely worth it, I feel like. So downside to these right here, I've been trying to attach anything to the joists so that the way that we've got it. You actually look behind you, we got all the walls, 16 on center, and you look at it, the width wise in between those is 14 and a half inches. Awesome, that's what you're supposed to have. Well, these are a 16 inch on center. And when they say that, they're talking about the center of the wood mass, so the joist. From there to there, that 16 inch on center, well, I've got more meat on the joist this way. So now I've got to, uh, yeah, play with only 12 and a half inches versus 14 and a half inches, which I lose two inches. And that comes into a huge, uh, play because things were made for 16 on center and they're meant for studs and joists like that versus a uh, web joists that are engineered like this. So what you're saying is that every inch matters, right babe? Oh yeah. <laughs> just a little tap a -roo. just a little tap 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 a -roo. center like that. There she is. That makes me happy. One light down, 11 to go. <laughs> So we've actually already lined out where all of the lights are going to go and we have them on the floor in all of the rooms. So as you guys can see, Gary just finished putting the one inside the utility closet that's going to have our hot water heater and it's going to have our electrical panel and all of that good like heart of the home kind of stuff in there. Uh, we turn around right here and this is going to be our future laundry room. So we've got two can lights in here for the laundry room. I think that that's going to be sufficient considering um, where we're going to be placing them. They are pretty bright when you actually get them going. So I think that's going to be great. You come on out here and we've kind of just placed it in the closet, but it's not actually going to stay in the closet. It's going to come right around uh, kind of where that guy is, but more centered and whatnot. Uh, and we're just going to have one light for the hallway. You go this way to the bathroom. And we got three of them inside the bathroom because you know we like to have it nice and bright when we're getting ready and all of that jazz, so. Yep, so I'll we'll have three in there. I've got the uh, fan that I'm gonna have to put in here as well. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, they're gonna go pretty much in succession, one, two, and three, sort of in the middle, kind of kind of like where they are, maybe a little bit smidge this way a little bit more, but right up in there. Uh, you turn around here now, and I know it's dark because we don't have any lights in here, but you could see the can lights on the floor. Uh, we're gonna have three in this back area, which in the future will be our storage pantry, but in the immediate, it's going to be Gary in my bedroom. Um, we're thinking two over here and then one over in that corner area and then back over here where are um, under the stairs there's going to be some stairs here and so this is the under the stairs closet we are planning on putting one can light under the stairs and it's going to just go right there just one of them right there yeah right there right there make it to where we can see inside of there yeah we, uh, we're like oh crap well, if we ever have to hide under there, we're gonna have light, but also, uh, while it's a closet, we'll have light in that closet too, so. I would, yeah. I would've put one in there, but. It's kind of redundant. There's, there's no point, we have a light out here. Then it's, so. the light is gonna be right here too, so yeah, it'd be good. So we're working on back here first. We're gonna try to get all these can lights in, and then next we're gonna start setting up for the electrical outlets. we got to get put in is a ventilation fan so we actually got this one right here Gary bought it online on Amazon what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start getting this thing installed before we continue on the can lights because Gary's got the scaffold over here and before we move it around we got to get this thing installed he ran into a small situation so basically what I'm running into if you look at this vent fan so there's the four inch vent, right? And here's the power box. It's sticking out just far enough to where it can't fit in between right here. I get this guy up in here, and I attach this to where it's flush. Once I go to do the drywall and everything else like that, I can cut out what I need just out of this hole right here. And I can leave this at land. Uh, accessible if I need to replace this whole unit. I'm going to probably most likely just buy a 90 to where I can just attach that 90 to this and then I have the straight flexible hose going as straight as possible from here up to the outer side. I think that's what we're going to do. is going to be here in the laundry room which should help out with condensation and uh, just getting a lot of the moisture out of this area. We are going to have some ducting that's going to be for the dryer and it's going to go up and out so we will be doing that at a later date when we get closer to actually installing the, uh, the dryer and whatnot but having that vent in here is going to be a very big help. Yes. We have one more vent that we're going to have to install in the bathroom, but for now, it looks like we're done with the scaffold here in this laundry room, and we can keep on moving on down. Mm -hmm. You going to do the hall light next? Yeah.
Perfect. So Gary's already walked around and marked where four feet is exactly on the board. So we know we just have to line this up, smack them in, good to go. And there is a little, you can see these indentations right here on there, and that is a half an inch. And that is for drywall. So as long as you have that on the stud like that, you'll be good for your drywall. Yup, yup. So this one is gonna be on the outer side for this light. And now we've got these boxes. That's going to be for this light switch right here. This is going to be for the fan and the light switch. Perfect. So that takes care of this area, takes care of this area. Pretty simple. Do this double beam right here. I would have wanted it on this stud, but the door is literally going to be like hitting right around in this area. We've got kids. <laughs> we don't want to break it out like that'd be bad. Okay, and that will be the lights and the fan. And that will be in here, the lights. There's that one. Height that we we're going on these, I marked it at 17 inches, and I'm just making it flush with the top side. That makes it to where the bottom itself is a little over 13 inches. It's like 13 and 3 eighths from the actual ground. You put this on the ground like this. You basically can rest it on that. I'm just a little bit higher than that, but that's a nice trick. Yeah. And that will give you enough room for the, the flooring that you put in, as well as our fans. Perfect. I found I saw that trick online, so I, I figured I'd share it with you guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I didn't do that, but there's multiple ways to do things.
there's more. What's up, Brittany? Hi. What's up, Brittany? What's up? As you guys been seeing, Brittany showed up. She's over here to help today. today. You bored and had nothing else better to do? And plus, I want to visit. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, hey, <laughs> bring it. Don't tempt me with a good time. <laughs> all right, we're almost done drilling all the holes in here. Gary and Abe are up there getting some wiring done. Be careful, Baba, okay? We're getting it. today you freaking rocked it I got this side of that <laughs> the basement done <laughs> man that was a lot that was definitely a lot so just, just for this one part I still have to do the bathroom the maintenance and the uh, laundry room but I have a feeling that those aren't going to be as uh, crazy as this here what's what and how you did it all right so I'm going to start over here I guess so I do have a light in here. I do got it all uh, wired up. I came in, came through, and I notched out my false wall. All right, false wall. I didn't notch out my joist. That joist, I don't want to touch any of my joists other than these two later on, which you'll see how I'm going to do that. Come down, come through, come out to the light switch. We could have had the light switch on the inside of in here, but we're gonna be coming into that area from our actual cellar. So it's here, and now here's got the stair light I got labeled. I actually got it labeled up here as well, light, which is, I know, I, I know what's going on. I did it, so. <laughs> got everything tacked down, ready, coming out of the box. And then I've got the power coming out from the, or from the actual outlet that I'm gonna have down over here. So I've got this coming all the way out to this guy. And that one's labeled three times. What's going on there? So I've got the power for light, the outlet power right here. This is the actual power that's feeding this outlet as well as the light, as well as this other outlet over here, which is this outlet. So that goes straight over to this guy. That one comes up, comes through, same side, that's that second one that was notched out and runs out this way, right above, and you can see it, and it goes all the way over that way. Comes down over this way, and then comes through, and bam. So this is outlet right here, this outlet. That one's gonna be that one over there. 
this outlet right here, this is for another outlet, and that's for the light power. So this light power, this is coming out, up, in, to this guy. All right, and then I've got this outlet one right here. This one is running from there, comes up, all the way over, and comes down to this box right here. So outlet power. So now I've got light power on this one. So I do have two light powers for inside the cellar. So now I can control these two boxes from this box, and then these two lights are wired up to be controlled from this box. So I won't be able to push one light and have all four go on. We'll probably walk in, hit this one, and having this light up the majority of the room, and then if we need to, we can go, hey, bam, give me more light. And now we have more light, so. Perfect. But yeah, that was a lot. It took us like a day and a half just to figure out where we wanted all of the light switches to go, where we wanted all the electrical outlets to go. For real, I know it seems like it would be a simple task, but it really wasn't. I think so. uh, we definitely overestimated that. Yeah. Honestly, because each room has its own character and its own way of design of what it could be and what it can be if we do it multiple different, like just this one way right here, now it's functional no matter how we do it. Yeah. No, it did good. You know, and that's did good. It, was, like, it was really good for us to take the time and really think it through because once it's done, it's done. Yes. And you're going to have to knock out all kinds of stuff just to fix it if you want to change it later on down the road. So I'm happy we took our time wire, planning it. Wire is not cheap. No. So it's it was really, nice. really good that very we took our time and we've got the whole storage area done. I'm super happy. You did a great job, babe. That's you did awesome. a great job. I'm proud of you. You, did, you rocked oh. it. You rocked it. Yeah. Well, guys, Brittany has already come and gone. I visited with her while Gary was in here doing some of this uh, this wiring. She needed some naughty time, so I gave it to her. Uh, but she already has come and gone. She's took off. Uh, Gary and I have a very, very busy day over on Come On Mountain tomorrow, yes. helping David out with a few things. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of that on his channel and maybe a little bit of it on ours as well come Monday. So yep. we're going to do that tomorrow and keep up with all this wiring and stuff all weekend. So hopefully we'll have some good news to report to you guys come Monday. But we're Heck working yeah. diligently on it, man. We're working every I'm single be, day. I'm going to be on it, man, this weekend. Yeah. I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit it. And I'm going to be your trusty sidekick. Yep. <laughs> so guys, with that, we wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We really appreciate you guys. And um, until the next one, we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later. You happy? Yeah. I'm super happy. That was, uh, that was a lot of tediousness. Hey, Gary. Flipping a switch and having light is in our near future. It really is. It really is. It's oh, right around yeah. the corner.